Toronto filmmaker Adam Agoyan described him as someone who rose to the top of British acting royalty. Hollywood losing another star, Bob Hoskins. Veteran character actor Bob Hoskins is being remembered for his roles in classic movies like Who Framed Roger Rabbit and Hook. Tributes are pouring in for the British star who died in hospital following a battle with pneumonia. On Twitter, Samuel Jackson says, truly saddened by the passing of Bob Hoskins, a truly gigantic talent and a gentleman. James Woods writes, what a terrible loss, a great guy and a superb artist. And Melissa Joan Hart tweets, in your memory, I will show my boys Roger Rabbit this weekend. The Golden Globe winner retired from acting two years ago because of Parkinson's disease. Hoskins was 71. James Blunt is in town tonight for round two of his Toronto shows. Our Brad Smith spoke with the talented musician. I'm sending postcards from my heart with love for a postmark and then. I'm looked after so well here in Canada. It's a really fantastic audience and for me it's always a highlight of the tour. British singer-songwriter James Blunt is here in Toronto performing his second of two back-to-back -back concerts tonight. Entertainment City's Brad Smith asked the crooner about what fans can expect. What kind of show do you produce on stage? Well, you know, we're doing different shows depending on which city we're playing in. Here in Toronto, for instance, then we've been playing the Danforth Music Hall. Right. Two nights, um, it's much smaller and it's not about the production. Instead, we've stripped that all away it's and it's about, yeah, it's about the, the music. And it's, you know, I can see the whites of everybody's eyes in that audience and it's about the performance instead, which gives actually quite a bit more intensity. Blunt's latest album, Moon Landing, is in stores now. Ellen Page opens up about love and her superhero X-Men role as the latest Flair cover girl. Inside, the 27-year-old Halifax native reflects on the night this past February when she told the world she was gay, saying she was, quote, very nervous and deeply emotional. Catch the full interview when the June issue hits newsstands May 12th. We Will Rock You is back and we've got your behind-the-scenes look with the cast. We Will Rock You is back in Toronto, bringing the best of Queen to the stage. And if you've already caught the smash hit musical, expect some new surprises this time around. As the cast members tell Entertainment City's Eva Fragiscatos, the show is always evolving. They are constantly tweaking and updating the script. And so they came in and completely overhauled all of our pop culture references and jokes and our social media references and um, really just made it, just tailored it for right now. There is a new song, there is a new character. They try to always keep it relevant and new because it takes place in the future. We Will Rock You is on stage now through May 10th at Ed Mervish Theatre. Looks good. And The Lion King also set to roar into the Princess of Wales tomorrow on Entertainment City. We've got our interview with the entire cast. Entertainment City brought to you by Fallsview Casino Resort in Niagara Falls, the place you want to be.